Hey there, guys. It is Demon Overlord 77 coming at you with a nice miniature review. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick review on the new unpainted miniatures from the new set in the unpainted miniature line of WizKids slash NECA and Wizards of the Coast. Um, this is the Deep Cuts variety, so these are ones that can work with both Pathfinder or Dungeons & Dragons if you're wondering which one they are for. Um, first up, we actually have these wild boars here. This is the lighter boar I painted. Very simple. I even got red in its mouth there. Nice little tusk coloration. Um, this is the darker boar. This is I, and of course I only do this so that way my characters have better knowledge of what animal they're attacking. So like you know they're not always attacking the same animal. Like I attack the darker one or the lighter one. Really cool little guys here. Um, next up we have the wolves. Now these are timber wolves, so they're not exactly probably as big as normal wolves, but they are pretty much the same size. I mean these are D and D official size. I mean, which is cool. Um, I do have this one Reaper mini here. This is a size comparison of two wolves. So. Get these up here so we can show you the different size. Yeah, as you can see, the Reaper Wolf is a little bit bigger, but I mean it is Reaper. They do have a little bit of a little bit of difference between the two. Um, they're not exactly the same, but we do have the black wolf here, the darker brown, and then my favorite one that is the white wolf there. That one has just a nice little effect. I mean, if you look at his eyes here, the blue in there gives him a nice dark look to this camera. Really awesome. I really do think he's my best one of the three. Um, the black will probably be second. He's got a lot of detail for him. Um, but anyway, I mean, now I got a nice little wolf pack for the game. I got a pack of five wolves, and I got some uh, a group, a duo of boars to attack. I mean, will I order more of these guys? Probably at some point in the future, I will get around to ordering some more. I mean, they're quick to paint. I mean, the wolves take a little more time because they got more detail stuff. These pigs are a little simple. And then one that took probably the longest to paint is the stag. This is the stag mini of that set. Very new. And as you can see here, nope, oh, I had it backwards. There we go. Um, they are WizKids.com, all that stuff. Then you got WizKids. You got the NECA. But they don't show the date anymore, which is weird that they don't show the date of the year they come out, which is a little weird, but you know what? Different. Um, as you can see, this guy, he's got a reddish tint to him, which is awesome. Nice red, brown, dark brown hooves. Um, I gave these, actually, these antlers here. I used Barbarian Flesh, and I did use Army Painter. A little Barbarian Flesh, very light um, coating. And then use Dark Tone to give it that nice antler look you see behind it. Let me just put my hand here to help. There we go. Help sh pop it there. Yeah, look how nice that guy came out. I mean, he came out beautiful. I know a lot of people have already gotten some like things. Why did you get a stag? What's he good for? Well, in your game, you do have hunting stuff and things like that. And you come across animals in the wild. This is just another piece on the board to go like, hey, you're in the woods. You've got stags and stuff running around. Or if one of your characters might be a druid, this could be a mount. I mean, it is a large class creature. I mean, you're like these wolves. They were like attacking. I mean, this is a size reference here. You know, pretty aggressive. I mean, like, you know, this thing's like pretty big and tough. Even for just like being a deer, still looks really cool. And I mean, you got the two boars here in size comparison as well to him and then the wolves. It's very interesting in their size cat profile net. I mean, they're all sized to each other, which is good. You always want that in a campaign. So you got your two pigs. Like I said, they both come out great. The stag is probably one of my best. The white wolf here is my favorite of the wolves I did, followed by the black wolf, then the lighter brown wolf. The dark brown wolf is not my favorite. It was okay, but I mean, like, it just doesn't feel as good as the white brown, not as much personality, I feel, even though they're the same model. Uh, the four of them are the same model, and the pigs are basically the same model, but duplicated. And the wolves do come in a pack, just in case I haven't brought that up before. And you got the wizards and the reaper bones there, just as a nice little uh, size comparison. He's a little, like I said, a little bit bigger. He might be more like the gray wolf size. They're more the timber wolf. But you know what? Close enough that honestly doesn't matter. The stag here is probably like the big old prince of the forest. Really awesome. Anyway, that's all I really got today. So shout out to Miniature Market. They did send me this stuff early since I can't find them in New York State yet. They'll probably be here soon, though. So you people can uh, snag them to add that nice spice to your game. Maybe some special pets or, you know, some special hunt quests. You guys can put some minis on the board that are wolves. Um, I know there was a, a grizzly bear as well. They had a new Merilith in there. Um, stuff like that. So, you know, check them out, guys. They're pretty cool looking. And uh, this is what I got for my final paint job on these bad boys. I did paint them myself using Army Painter. And um, also, if you guys want to check out my, me on Twitter, I am at O1Berserker. And follow me on there if you're not following me so you can ask any questions, anything like that. And check out our podcast, please, for the Dice and Dummies. We're always looking for new listeners, so subscribe and definitely give us a review. We're always hungry for reviews. And, you know, if you guys want to ask any questions to me or any of the other guys from there, there's our we do put our Twitter handles on there. So if you want to talk to any of the characters specifically, um, we are trying to set up like a group message board so we can get stuff like that but anyway you know send us a message we'll read it live on air and any reviews we're definitely going to re read live on air whoa camera got a little shaky there a little unusual anyway um you know so check us out guys uh give us a review give us some uh 
Oh, and also check out Battle Bards. We have become commercial as we now have dealings with Battle Bards where we actually use their um, sound and information. And uh, we also have a discount code. It is DUMB, spelled exactly as it sounds, D-U-M-B. And uh, use that when you're checking out from Battle Bards for any of the sounds you want to use or anything like that. It'll boost your sound. It will boost your game. I mean, we used it, and it surprisingly makes it sound great. It gives us another level of improvement to our podcast. So, you know, check them out. Check us out. And uh, check me out on Twitter if you want. I always post videos like this about stuff on Twitter. My Twitter fans, the advantage be on Twitter versus Facebook or the uh, YouTube is I will give my Twitter fans first dibs to see this kind of stuff before I put it on YouTube. So you don't want to wait as long as the YouTubers. I mean, it's not always a long wait, but hey, you get first dibs to see it. Anyway, guys, um, this is Demon Overlord 77 signing off. And I hope you all have a great day. And bye-bye, guys.